Welcome back to Rose Education. This is Zet. Today I'm going to be talking about BNGO, Bionano Genomics Incorporation. Any point of the video, if you have any suggestions or comments, make sure to mention them down in the comments below. Drop a like, subscribe, and leave your notifications on. Uh, I'm going to go through technical analysis, news, and what I think about this company. At any point throughout this video, if you feel you're missing out on these technical indicators, you find a playlist in the description below that explains each of them and what they mean. Let's jump right into it. So on a one week perspective, we get to see the MACD is actually curving a little bit down, trying to go on for a negative reversal testing. On balance volume looks really healthy on a one week perspective. ADX shows in a strong indication of a trend, even though this trend was more of sloppy negative. But the William percent R puts this one on a one weekly perspective at overbought. And momentum seems to be recovering and that's positive. So you get to see a bit of mixed news there. Moving averages seem to be very close to one another. Uh, which is usually a signify it doesn't doesn't signify much other than well there's a possibility for green or red so we already know that now on a one day perspective things get more interesting you get to see an macd has actually confirmed uh, a reversal on the 16th uh, going on towards a positive macd volume is picking up but the unbalanced volume is a little bit sideways here so we get to see william percent r went from overbought to neutral and the adx shows in more of a sloppy movement but the momentum seems to be incredibly strong now, what does this signify? It signifies that it is trying to move on through a breakout, but it's seeing a lot of resistance, and thus it's more of making it sideways sloppy. Now, it just exited the bearish trading action zone, where the 30 EMA, the red line, is above the 10 SMA. Uh, the stock price is still above the 50 SMA and the 200 SMA, which is bearish. So, on the moving averages altogether, it's fully bearish, except that it actually escaped the trading action zone of the bearish one. Um, there is another possibility, too, of a golden star forming. And that's when the 50 SMA crosses from the bottom towards the top of the 200 SMA and then you get to see a breakthrough. Now you're probably going to be seeing it maybe end of next week or the week after. Uh, but there's also a lot of different factors happening in with terms of market that you would have to be considering in mind. Now let's try to look into the moving averages. Try to find uh, where does this one play in the moving average band. We get to see this one here, it's trading in the upper half, somewhere around 65 cents and on 58 on the top moving average band and on the bottom we're looking around 53 cents. Now if we were to look at things like Fibonacci retracements, significant supports and resistances, we get to see that this one here has multiple levels of supports and resistances closer to uh, this bottom of the chart. Now we're looking at 52 cents on the Fibonacci resistance and then we're looking as well at 69 cents on the Fibonacci resistance. Now, if we were to look at significant supports and resistances, what we get to see currently is a significant support sitting in at 62 cents. Below that, we're looking at uh, the 61 cent mark. Below that, we're looking at the 60 cent mark. Below that, we're looking at the 59 cent mark. And then below that, a significant one at the 58 mark that was multiple bottoms before. And then we get to see another one happening at the 55. And it goes all the way down towards uh, 54 and if we were to look at the last significant support it's probably around the 47 cents now significant resistances and that's some kind of quite important for us is the 63 cent mark one above that we're looking at the 65 cents mark one and then above that we're looking at 67 looking at 68 69 and then the 71 mark now if you were to tell me which uh, Resistance is the most significant to me. It will probably be the 70 cent mark as you get to see it's been significant resistance and a support in the past where breakthroughs happened. Now, if we were to look into uh, the stochastic fast and slow, we get to see that it's actually leveling up at really higher levels. And that's a little bit dangerous levels because that's where you most likely going to be see a little bit of a pullback. Uh, now, I'm not saying that this is kind of more of a long term pullback. I'm probably saying it's just more for your entry slash your exits uh, and that's basically what we're talking about if you're trading this one this is a warning sign that usually says sell uh, and i'm going to emphasize this is more for trading in a short-term pattern now if we were to look at the latest news what we get to see is a lot of positive ones of course i'm just going to mention that compliance they have until december 28th to reach the compliance so reverse play might not be seen all the way until november if we were looking into uh, the submission of matter of voting, there's another vote happening at 10 a.m. Pacific uh, Standard Time at uh, sorry, Pacific Time at September 29th. So uh, nine days from now, and it's regarding the proposal of uh, increasing the amount of shares from 200,000 to 400,000. Uh, so that might mean a little bit more dilution of shares. 
Bio Nanogenomics expands its diagnosing testing menu with the launch of uh, Linogen's Epi, sorry, Epi Panel DX uh, Plus Clean Panel test to identify genetic conditions related to epilepsy. So that is more positive news happening in on the 14th, and then following that on the 17th, Bionana data provides understanding of repeat expansions disorder causing muscular uh, dystrophy and ALS. Uh, and that goes on with partnerships with other bigger names like the Mayo Clinic, for instance, which is a credible source. Now, if we were to look into institutional buyers, what we get to see here is the last significant one was on the 10th, where they added around almost 12,000 shares. If we're looking at Insider, we don't see any much of Insider transactions. The overview of the company what we get to see here is that they have an event happening on September 24th for the Bionano Genomics Lunch and Learn at UCSD. And then they do have a different kind of uh, events that they sponsor in, uh, ASHG in 2020 in October and AMP in November. Now, what do I think about this company and how I think it's going to be playing? Now, this definitely is a little bit of a warning sign, so it might actually see a little bit of a pullback there. But if you remember, on the one-day perspective, we get to see a positive MACD. Now, this is on the end of the week, we usually saw a little bit of a drop in NASDAQ and an S&P. But we get to see this one here is still pushing through, and that is a positive sign for us. There is risks to it, but it looks like it's actually curving up. So you get to see it's a little bit mixed, but it might actually pull back just a little and then bounce back up a little. So you can day trade this almost all week. What do you think about the sticker? Make sure I mention that in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and like you. Have a wonderful day.